Okay, turn that off because it makes the lighting really bad. But I am on my way to school. Um, not because I have school, because it's 4.30 in the afternoon. I'm not saying that normal people don't have school at 4.30 in the afternoon, but I don't. Also, it's Thursday, and I don't have school on Thursday, but I'm going to school anyway because I am going to a deaf event. So, for my ASL class, sorry, I'm trying to find makeup. I've got to, like, do my bottom lash line, which I didn't do because my stuff for it was in the car. But basically, my ASL class, which if you don't know what that stands for, it stands for American Sign Language, uh, ASL, and I have been taking that class this semester, which I absolutely love. It's a great class. But for that class, you are required to attend one deaf event, and that deaf event that I'm going to happens to be tonight. So there are a bunch of different deaf events that you're allowed to attend. There's like deaf bowling, silent dinners, things like that. Tonight is a deaf social night, which is exciting. Um, so there are going to be deaf people there, um, which is great because I actually went to another deaf event, which was a silent dinner, which was at um, a place called Crafted Art of the Taco. And there were no deaf people. I saw my teacher there, but that was about it. Um, so me and Michael went there to dinner, which was fine because he really likes that restaurant and I really like it too. It's a good place to eat. Um, but it just wasn't a really, as far as a deaf event, it wasn't really a deaf event because there were no deaf people there. Um, and I have to write like a two page paper on the event and that was definitely not going to be two pages worth to talk about because it would have just been... I went to the restaurant, I saw my teacher, ate food, I left. Because <laughs> you're supposed to talk about, in the paper, you're supposed to talk about like deaf culture and how they interact different than like hearing people interact. So since there were no deaf people at that event, there was nothing to write about. So I have to go to another event, which happens to be tonight. So I'm trying to look presentable, so. Yeah, but that is what I'm doing. I just got in the car, obviously. Patched up my makeup. I don't think I have a lip gloss in here, but we'll check. Um, but yeah, so that is what I am getting ready to do as soon as I find something to put on my lips. I'm just gonna put on this balm. Mm. It smells like watermelons. It's got like this watermelon cover on it. It's by Sephora. Um, it's just like a little chapstick, but it has a little bit of color in it. But it's really nice. It smells really good. And so we're off. So I will see you guys in a little bit. And here we are with a whistle. That was a stop. Okay, let's give her a hand. Now the next whistle we're going to use is as a way to me whistle, which is his left. <laughs> See, we took all the room he could get there, which is what we want. Steady him up. Now she can also not only catch the sheep, she can drive the sheep. We'll just have him hold the sheep. Yeah. Yeah. See, he's on the fetch mode now. That's all right. We'll bring him back around. Get our sheep settled. Let's give him another round. I'm just going to show you a little bit more of what happens at the farm. I'm just going to send Mabel out to gather the sheep. That's called an outrun. And she sent her over <laughs> to the right, which is the away side. Now this is called the fetch. So she's going to bring the sheep to Joyce. Lie down, lie down, lie down, down. Okay. Even seasoned dogs have their moments. <laughs> okay, and Joyce is going to take Mabel back out, send her on another outrun. Just so you 
know these are not trained sheep. And that's what happens, they learn by repetition. This is Donna's dog, Queen, and she's a younger dog also. But she's ready to take off the road and maneuver around the stock. So the first thing we look for is a heading instinct to where if we move to one side of the sheep or the other, the dog will counter and go the opposite direction. So Donna will show how she casts her around to her right, which is a way to me. There steady and then she can send her to her left which is her come by and a steady when she gets her <laughs> to lay down we'll give her a big round of applause border collies turn on the sheep at a variety of ages some can turn on very early when they're little babies three four months old sometimes they're 12 months old but once they get this kind of keen instinct to work this is when you want to start training. You'll notice Joyce has one on the road, turn us on this road, because if